Hello everyone, welcome back to House of Chi Yoga. Um, I just did my latest HIIT workout, which was a lot of glutes, a lot of shoulder work, a lot of abs, a lot of everything. So I'm gonna do a really quick 10, 15 minute stretch video. It's gonna be a lot of movement, a lot of rolling, a lot of dealing, opening up with the fascia. So um, yeah, enjoy this one, have fun with it, and put it into your day wherever you would like. Let's get started. Since I'm already warm, I'm gonna go ahead and start on my knees and just pay a little bit of attention around the knee joint. So I use my hands to just massage above the knees, massage around the knees, just on top of the knees. And I just kind of press in, feel the muscles there. Just pay a little bit of attention, a little bit of love to our knees. I'm also gonna tell my knees how much I love them today because they have been working very hard. So today, knees, I love you. I love you, I love you knees. And then tap out the sides of the body. Inhale, palms lift up and overhead, tap off to the elbow. Exhale, bring the chin down, hands down. Two more, inhale, lift, cross tap. Exhale, down. One more, inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Now we're gonna keep our hands to the cross elbow, lift and lower from the heart. So what I'm doing is expanding through the ribs and then opening up through the upper back. Some nice control through the abdominal muscles. Now we're gonna bring the hands open behind the body, big lift and then draw the elbows down to a 90. Let the arms swoop around to the knees and press into the palms. Find a round through the spine. Inhale as you extend forward, go all the way to your roll. Exhale as you press back and round. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, press back. One more, inhale to lift. Exhale, press back. And then slide the left sitting bone down. Left arm lifts up and overhead, take a nice deep stretch. You're creating a big round through the side body, kind of like a big C curve or a big banana shape through the left side. I'm gonna gaze up towards the ceiling. You can even hold the weight of the head and take the, the stretch a little bit deeper. Now adding some movement, we're gonna exhale, bring the elbow down towards the body. Inhale to lift and open it up. Exhale, contract through the front body. Inhale, contract through the back body. One more. Inhale, open, and then gaze past that palm. So you're opening it up and just gazing past the shoulder. My right hand I'm placing to the outside of the left knee. You can just move ear to ear, sinking the chin, just feeling a stretch through the side of the neck. And then we're gonna walk it all the way out and around towards quadruped and tap out the toes. Once the toes are tapped out, I'm gonna get back on my mat here. I'm gonna tuck the toes under and push back and spring forward from the toes. So I wanna wake up my feet, start opening the toes away from each other. Last one, I'm gonna hold forward push the toes down, lock into the core, and then start working my cat-cow spine. Vertebrae by vertebrae, follow your breath. Use the inhales to expand and open space, and the exhales to deepen and round. One more exhale, hold your exhale, and I'll keep that exhale, just squeeze and massage the belly, try to move around, keep contracting, keep squeezing, and then release. Bring the knees back together, toes back together, and unroll back to seated position. This time, right hip goes down, right arm goes up and overhead. So I'm gonna reach through the fingertips, gaze towards the ceiling. You can even take the hand to the head. And go a little deeper with your stretch. And then you can add your inhales and exhales in your movement. So I exhale to contract, inhale to lift. Feel the front body closing, feel the back body closing. One more. And then we'll take the right arm, reach back and behind, left hand comes across to support that twist. Roll the shoulder open, try to gaze past the shoulder. Keep breathing, feel a nice stretch all the way through the side body and into the front of the shoulder. You can move the ears, you can feel the sides of the neck expand. And then come back through center, we're gonna walk away and around. Quadruped, this time tuck the toes and shift it to a downward facing dog right away, just start walking it out. Try to bring the knees down, the hips hang heavy, open up to the sides of the hips. Check in with the palms, the fingertips are spreading away from each other. The entire palm is supporting, that means fingertips, knuckles, the entire palm, no part of that hand is lifting up and away. Now lift the heels high and then sink them down, pull the toes up. So you're working into the backs of the legs, the hamstring. Just moving heel, toe, but we're holding our down dog position. Oh, lots of cracking. Now heels stay down, toes stay up, and a slight bend in the knee. Try to keep the toes off the mat as you bend the knee. 
Keep breathing, maybe feel around the ankle joints, feel deeper into the calf muscles. <sighs> now push into the toes, walk the hands back and press the heart, the chest towards the thigh. Keep pressing, keep pressing. Feel a nice opener underneath the armpit. And then feet go all the way down, walk the hands back. Inhale, reach the palms behind you. Exhale, bind onto the legs if you'd like and forward fold. You're pulling with the lat muscles, getting the thigh and belly closer together. Releasing the head, yes and no. And then one more time, we'll inhale, reach the hands back. Exhale into a malasana, heels and toes out, hands to the heart. So use the elbows to press the knees wide. Big lift up tall through the crown of the head. And now keep the knees open by squeezing your butt muscles and pushing the feet down. We're going to extend the hands forward. You're going to inhale, lift the butt just to knee level and reach forward. Exhale, bring the butt down, reach the hands up. Two more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lift. One more. Inhale. Now exhale. This time the butt comes down. The thumbs are going to drop and reach behind the legs for a bind. So now here you can lengthen taller. You can press the knees wider. You can get the crown of the head to curl down towards the mat. Whoo, keep breathing. And releasing the muscles, let's walk it all the way back to our plank. And then I'm gonna unroll into a cobra. So I bring my knees down, lift up through my heart, open the chest to cobra. Take a few deep breaths here. Work on expanding through the rib cage. Gaze up if you'd like it up. Exhale as you tuck the chin, and then come back. Knees are hips distance, and toes are hips distance. So we're going to work our hands in a saddle grip, so that means I have these little C cups with my hands, and I'm going to press them right at the ankle. Now first, just hold them there and relax the body down. You'll find some shifting in the hips. And then we're going to work up to our rabbit's pose. So rabbit's pose, you want to make sure that you're not putting pressure on the neck. You're actually using the abs to lift up and get nice and light. And then you're creating as deep of a round in the spine as you can. So my crown of the head goes down close to my knees. But as I lift my tailbone, I don't let everything fall towards the shoulders. I use the muscles to press the shoulders away from the ear. Now the abs are lifting. I always feel a nice, slightly uncomfortable burning sensation at the deep abdominal muscles because I'm just lifting, lifting, lifting and creating a big stretch through the back. So if you feel like you can't breathe here, maybe work on pulling the shoulders farther away from the ear. There isn't pressure on the head. Let's take two more breaths. And then exhale, bring it down. Keep the head low. You could just roll the forehead right to left. And then we'll walk it forward towards our downward facing dog. And let's inhale the right toes up. Exhale to open the hip. And I'll bring the right foot to the outside of the left pinky toe. So I'm going to square forward towards you. My toes are coming up, and then I'm bringing them to the outside of the palm. So not very far out, just towards the pinky if you can get it there. But I want to be feet at this funny little slanted angle here. So now I can plant down through this front toe, and I can open up from the hip through the IT band. So you can see my hands are still on the inside of my foot. If you would like, you can take your hand, your other hand a little bit wider just for balance and stability. But if you can keep your hands planted to the inside, that's gonna take your stretch a lot farther. So I'm gonna re-square again to my mat. I'm working my big toes down, my front leg. I'm working that hip to the wall behind me and I'm bringing the opposing hip forward. I'm getting a deeper stretch that way too. Check in with the big toes, keep working the big toes down, and then keep breathing and hinging at the hip. Go deeper into your stretch. We're taking two more breaths here. Keep the weight equal in the feet. I feel this all the way through my sacrum area to the outside of my hip, all the way down the IT band. One more. And now flex your front foot. So my right leg is forward. I'm going to flex the toes, and then I'm going to let the knee unfold straight into a cobra. This is not cobra. This is a pigeon pose. Straight into pigeon pose. <laughs> Untuck the back toes. Keep the front foot flexed. Lift up nice and tall through the sternum to get to the other side so as. Keep breathing, keep breathing, keep lifting. Your hips are active here. The back body is active here to open up the front. If you can release the hands and bind, go ahead and take a bind here. Open up the chest. Ooh, I 
feel my chest muscles all ready from those rows this morning. From all that plank. And then you have the option to go forward. I'm gonna release my bind. I can't hold my bind and go forward. If you can, that is beautiful. Please stay with your own practice. And we'll take a couple breaths to the bottom. And then as you exhale, next. Press up to the palms, check in with the feet, energy in both feet. I tuck my back toes and lift the hips. Now I'm gonna take my right leg and just let it hang, let it move, let it circle, let it do whatever it wants to do. Usually mine wants to dance, dance it out. And then both feet go back to the mat. Add any movement you want here in downward facing dog. And then we're gonna inhale opposite side up. So I'm gonna bring my left toes high, open up the hip on the exhale. And then I'm bringing my left foot to the outside of my right pinky toe. So again, I'm going to square forward so you can see. Hands are down. Left toes go outside the right pinky. And then I want to get the weight even between both feet. Remember, you can frame the foot if you need to. But if you can keep the hands to the inside, that's a much deeper stretch. So now I want to check in. My toes are forward. I'm at this funky little angle here. I always call this funky pyramid because I don't know what else to call it. And then big toes are working down. So now this front leg hip, I'm gonna work back, and the opposing hip, I'm gonna work forward. Whee! Feel the stretch, feel the IT band. Keep breathing and hinging at the hips. Sometimes I grab my hand and just press it to my big toe so I make sure my big toe stays down. Keep working the left hip back to the wall behind you. Keep breathing. Two more breaths here. Releasing through the hamstring. This I feel all over. Try to feel it all the way up to the sacrum. And then I'm going to square forward and we're going to move it to our pigeon pose. So that left foot, you start flexing, you unroll the knee, and then we meet here in pigeon. Unroll the back leg, keep the top foot flexed, untuck your back toes, and get nice and tall in your pigeon. So the back body is active. Now I can release right here through my psoas. If you have the bind, you want to start opening up through the heart. A little more engagement through the hip muscles. Oh my goodness. Keep lifting up tall. I definitely feel my lats from that lat pull. <laughs> I keep talking like you were in the class with me before this, but I forgot. You were likely not in my class before this. <laughs> and then releasing forward. If you can keep your bind, keep your bind all the way through. One more breath here. Go a little deeper. And then exhale, start pressing it up to the fingertips. So we tuck the right toes. We use the left leg to lift. We take it back towards our downward facing dog. And we let it swing out. Do anything it needs to do. Sometimes I teach so many classes in a row, I forget which audience is where. <laughs> Has been where. Child's pose. Knees wide, toes untuck. Sink really heavy through the hips here. Sometimes I use my palms to push the weight back. I feel like that'll take me a little farther into the hips. And we'll go into one shoulder thread. Inhale, one palm up. And you just exhale it across. Actually, I'm gonna switch into my opposite arm so that you can see that my palm stays facing towards the ceiling, so it's facing up, and I'm getting directly on top of my shoulder. Now, the other hand can go above the head. You can add a little bit more pressure from the top palm, pulling the arm longer. I like just taking it above the head. You can also take it to the hip to make sure that hip is going back, and creating more space through the side body. And then unroll. Let's go opposite arm. You inhale to lift, exhale to thread. Make sure the palm is facing up. Anything you want to do with the top arm. And then coming up through center. Let's cross the ankles, go to seated. We're going to finish off with two more little stretches. I want to get into the hamstrings. So our legs are extended out forward. Find the feet, move them around for a moment. And then to get deeper into our hamstrings, we can actually flex our quad muscles. So my quads, the top of the leg is going to engage. And I'm going to lift and lower right from the hip hinge. So I don't want to round forward here. You want to stay nice and tall. Abs are in and then walk the sternum forward. So I'm keeping as flat back as I can. 
And then I know I can go down pretty far, so I'm just gonna keep moving down, keep using my exhales to get deeper into the stretch. Check in with the feet, keep energy in the feet. I have cold toes, so I'm gonna give mine a little, a little press. And pay attention to the feet. If you can reach them, give them a little love. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale, go a little farther. And now soften into the toes, softly unroll the spine. Last one is gonna be fish pose. So I'm about halfway down my mat or a little farther. My hands are gonna be in a diamond shape. I get my fingers underneath my bottom and my thumbs together to create that diamond. And as I lean back, the sacrum is gonna go right in between the diamonds. So I don't have pressure on this, from the sacrum on the hands. I'm creating that little space to get the sacrum there and then support the rest of my bottom with my hands. So as we go down, we wanna to continue to open up the chest. So I'm gonna bring my elbows together. You see my chest lifting. Once I get the elbows and the forearms down, I'm gonna press the forearms down, find a bigger lift through the heart, and you can release the head back. So we wanna make sure that the shoulders aren't collapsing in here. We keep lifting and expanding and creating space, keep drawing the forearm down. If you want the crown of the head to the mat, you just continue to walk back until the head touches the mat. Now keep lifting, lifting up through the heart and breathing through the front body. We'll take about three breaths here. And then on this last one, we'll unroll the head all the way down, plant the feet, remove the hands, and we can come up through center. So either rolling straight through or rolling to one side, or feel free to finish off with uh, some back bends, some twisting, or Shavasana. Shavasana is always, always a plus to add in after you've done some stretching or some work. Hope you enjoyed that class today. I feel much better. Um, sorry, I had a lot of gibberish about my other classes. I just get confused sometimes. But <laughs> if you want to, go do the other hit. Um, it was a lot of glute and shoulder work, and it was great for this. Uh, it was a great addition to this stretch. So let's inhale our arms up. Exhale our hands down to our heart. Appreciating you, appreciating your presence today with me, allowing me to share this practice with you. Please like and, sh and s like, share, subscribe, all the things, and I'll see you next time. Bye.